Hey guys, this is X and Shadow. Once again, I'm going to be slightly quieter than normal because people are sleeping. Um, it didn't really seem like it last time, but I was talking softer than normal. Anyway, but a few weeks ago, I got the new Bare Naked Ladies album, uh, All in Good Time. And this band has been a band that I've been a fan of all my life. Um, even before they really got big with their stunt album, which had one week on it. I'm sure you've heard that song before if you haven't listened to the radio. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to this band my entire life. They're me one of my favorite bands, have some of my favorite songs and favorite albums on it. And unfortunately, when Stephen Page left the group, I think it was last year or the year before, the band kind of just stopped doing stuff. But this is the first album they've left without, they've made without him. And it kind of shows because the Ba the songs aren't as silly as they normally are. The band does have a lot of silly -er songs. But, yeah, and a lot of this is more serious kind of after the loss of these because these guys were friends and they lost one of them. But I think I'll just go song by song, tell you my thoughts of it, and what I think of the album as a whole at the end. Okay, so the first song and main signal single for the f album so far is the first track called You Run Away. Um, th out of all the tracks, this is the one that's most obviously impacted by Paige's departure because it's pretty much a song about Paige's being gone. Um, it's sort of a sad song in general, you know, about him and his being gone and being sad and blah, blah, blah. You ran away, you're a jerk for leaving, blah, 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 blah. But it's a very catchy song. I like it. It's sad, but it's uplifting and blah and all that other crap. I like this song. It's a it's a good song and I it's a good first it's a good first single for the album I guess it's enjoyable I'll say that it is enjoyable but anyway the second song is a song called Summertime which is also um, a slower beat song though this one is a lot happier and more uplifting than the other one this is another good song that I enjoy it's not the best on the album but it's an enjoyable song. A very sing-alongy song. Um, the third song is the first song on the album that isn't sung by the other guy, Ed Robertson, I think is his name. But uh, yeah, so this is the first song that's sang by somebody who hasn't really sang in the Bare Naked Ladies before, and it's probably the best out of all of them. It's a, it's a good song. I like it. It's actually one of my favorites on the album. It's sad, of course, but it's also very. A very nice song. I like it. A lot. I like it a lot. Okay, the fourth track on this is a song called Four Seconds. Uh, this is the typical Bare Naked Ladies really, really weird song. Um, but this one is enjoyable. It's a very enjoyable song. It's short, it's sweet, it's weird, but it's fun. I can say that's really all you can say about it. Uh, the fifth song, On the Lookout, is not really one of my favorites. I just don't really like it that much. Not much to say. Pretty skippable, but eh, it's listenable. Um, track number six is a track called Ordinary, which is another good song. I like it. It's not the best, but it's up there. It's a pretty good song. Uh, the same could be said for the seventh track, I Have Learned. This is another good song that isn't amazing and isn't the best on the album, but it's good. Um, the eighth song, Every Subway Car, is another very good song. I have a feeling that this one's going to become a single as well, cause just because it has that sort of single um, quality to it, you know, easily identifiable title and chorus and song and is insanely catchy, that sort of thing. But it's a good song. I like it. Another very uplifting song. Um, the ninth song, Jerome, is also sang by someone who isn't one of the main two singers of the Bare Naked Ladies before. Um, it's okay. I guess I've never really attached myself to it. Um, track number 10, How Long, is another good song. I like it. It's not the best on the album, but it's good. I like it. I'd say it's probably a B if I had to rank it. Um, 11, Golden Boy, is one of my favorites on the entire album. It's just so catchy, and if you actually listen to the lyrics, it's very creatively written. It's one of my favorites on the album. I like it. I like it a lot. Golden Boy is one of my favorites. Twelve, I saw it. Um, to be honest, I don't remember how this one goes. Um, so, yeah. Awkward transition into number thirteen, the Love Warren. Um, this is the last one that's sang by the original one of the any of the original singers from Bare Naked Ladies, and eh, it's okay. Not great. Okay, and watching the Northern Lights. 
eh, it's okay. Not a really strong ending to the album, but eh, it's okay. But anyway, um, my thoughts overall on the album, I liked it. I know I said that a lot of songs on there aren't my favorites and are just okay, but when you you got to realize that when I say just okay, I mean like it's okay as in I can stand to listen to it the entire way through and I might enjoy myself a little bit. And the ones that I said aren't my favorites, I'm still enjoying, like I'll still hum or sing along with them. And there are actually a lot of songs on this album that I really like and that I'll sing along with. This is a very good album if you like the sort of music that the Bare Naked Ladies do, does. Um, if you're a fan of the band, I'd recommend it. I don't really know what sort of genre to label them. They're the Bare Naked Ladies. They just are what they are. I think the closest thing to what they are would be alternative. Um, but yeah, I would recommend it if you like any of the Bare Naked Ladies stuff before it. Um, definitely not the best they've done, but it's a valiant effort seeing as half of their creative team is basically gone with the loss of Stephen Page. But yeah, um, it's a good album, definitely worth a, at least an iTunes download, or an illegal torrent knowing the internet. Okay, but anyway, I'm X and Shadow, I liked this CD, I'll see you guys later. Bye now.